I guess in the meantime, ow, this dude is attacking me. Let's go ahead, summon in the boys, let them do the work, because there is actually rats out here. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Summoner video. We are here, I've been breeding the dogs, because it's time for us to go to war. We have our first victim we're gonna fight, and that first victim lives in a little tribal village over here, okay? Yeah, we're gonna be taking all of them out today, and we're gonna take on the tribal village because we do that we get a certain mask we could use that mask to bring in some more summons some uh tribal theme summons but yeah let's bring everyone excuse you out there elephant where the fuck you're at let's bring them and it is time to go to war oh and a wolf already got hit all right, all right calm down calm down everyone calm down let's back up a second okay Oh my god, this is bad already. I don't, I don't really know if the wolves are cut out for this. Alright, wolves like the worst day. Oh my god. I think we're gonna lose some wolves in this fight. <laughs> That's the type of damage they took already? And we haven't even like got into the village? Oh man, I, I don't want my wolves to die. Like, you know, some are bound to die. It's like Pikmin, you know? Pikmin are bound to die uh, due to just craziness. But like, bro, I spent so much time breeding all these wolves and for like half of them already losing half their health. Like, what the hell? Alright, this is what I'll do instead. I'll move up into the village here. His aim is not the greatest. As we can see, he's having a little bit of trouble hitting me. I will come into this village and I will summon my boys. Okay, interesting. I will summon in my boys and see if they can do some damage. Ow. I'm gonna eat this golden apple just to be safe. Yeah, get that motherfucker right here. The big guy. Yeah, this would be dangerous with my wolves. Okay, I'm glad that I didn't commit fully. Because this would not be fun. You know what? We got another thing we could do here. And that's attack these guys. Yeah, get this guy right here. The one right here. The one close to us. If we could get their mask, that would help out a lot. It doesn't help that we're playing a damn bullet hell over here. Okay, he didn't drop his mask. If we could just get our hand on a mask, like, we'll be chilling. I can execute plan B. Alright, I'm trying to open an area here for my boys to attack them. There you go, boys. Go get them. Go get them. I gave you guys a nice little area. Okay. They're having a little trouble. He does a little knockback thing. So obviously there's going to be a little trouble. So does that do damage? Oh, it does. Okay. Mm. I'm just trying to see if I can get my boys in there. I can. He just spams the attack over and over. Okay. Even this is not working. This guy's kind of annoying, bro. Why does he just spam this attack over and over? And then if I try and like work my way. Oh my god, that hit me. Alright, so we kind of have a failed plan here. We're going to have to do the next best thing. Yeah, we're going to need a ranged summon. And to get a ranged summon. Oh, we got a mask. <gasps> Hold up. This mask might be the key here. So if I put on this mask, uh, I don't know, hopefully it affects this village because we've been attacking this village, so I don't know if it will. But if I put on this mask, I should be able to wander into this village and not get attacked now. Yeah, look, I'm able to wander around. I'm undercover. And the cool thing is you can actually like trade with them and stuff. Look at this. Grant sun's blessing. With empty hand, right click to call a sun strike. With empty hand, sneak right click to fire a solar beam. So like I could legit become him but let, let's be incognito for a little bit let's talk to everyone here because i think once i break something or try to attack i think the undercover wears off obviously whoa 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 why am i being attacked i'm trying to trade with these guys this dude is attacking me okay we got some uh potential racists or they like sniff me out let's bring them away from the village okay Right, bring them away from the village and we're gonna beat their ass now all right let's try it again i don't know how the villages sniff me out but they did if the fucking chief can't sniff me out how the hell did the villages do it all right let's try again i'm gonna try and talk oh they're running at me bro how do they know how do they know all right you know what you guys want to run at me you guys want to jump me I, I got a little uh team i think you guys should meet over here hey at least we'll like stock up on some mask here we need my wolves to actually attack them yeah there we go get at them boys get at them okay we stocked up on some more mask maybe it's just oh no one of the wolves fell in <laughs> maybe it's just because the um the village knows that i'm not who i who they think i am you know what i'm saying <laughs> we might have to find a new village okay but this kind of like ruins my whole entire like plan for this episode it's all good I i'll figure something else out <laughs> 
All right, I looked into some of the spells, and apparently there is some spells that summon skeletons, which is perfect. That would be a projectile mob. So if we could just get like some summon skeletons, that would be perfect. I feel like I said the same thing twice there. Uh, it's an apprentice spell, which is the only problem. And to get our spells higher, I believe we need to like fight stuff over and over again. Which that that could be a slight problem. Okay, you can have it. Okay, okay, you're trying to fight me. Uh, I'm gonna just summon in a zombie. I'm, I'll, the zombie will hold them off, right? The zo fight fight that thing. You ever see a wizard get jumped before? Oh, nice one. I don't know what the hell these guys drop if you jump them. Probably not too much. I found another village. My boys, what y'all got to trade here? Okay, pork chops. Cool. He, okay, more pork chops. They must really like their pork chops. He's got a spear. It's kind of cool. Do you guys have like anything like crazy out of the ordinary at all? Doesn't really look like it. He's got darts, blowgun, Minecraft blowgun only playthrough. All right, so like they don't have too many interesting things, at least from talking to me. So I'm not missing out too much here. The plan is still the same. I need to find a projectile and I need to kill him with that. Now this is how you attack a serpent right here. This dummy beached himself. So you know, why not me take advantage here? Let's go ahead, summon in the boys, let them do the work. Hopefully they don't uh, push it back into the water. That'd be like worst case scenario. Oh, there we go. Almost pushed it into the water. Nice. Six of them. Okay, not bad. We could do something with six of those. But yeah, I went into the config of the uh, wizardry mod because I noticed that like you have to level up your wand to upgrade it. And it wasn't like that in the past when I played the mod originally. So I changed that back to the OG way because it takes forever ever to level this thing up and i've been using it a lot recently too and i think we're only like a quarter of the way to the next level and if i play like that like i'm never getting a next summon at this rate i want to see really quickly if it's possible for me to even like do this over here take on this little uh pillager hut let's see i don't know there's another serpent somewhere i don't know what spawns here if i could just break the spawner that'd be nice oh look at that <laughs> All right. Oh, look at the serpent. He's doing flips for us. There's like a couple of those scattered around the world and some of them have a chest and you try to open the chest. It'll put like a little like casing around you and you have to kill like all the enemies and then the chest opens. But like I hear that gives you or not here. I've seen that it gives you really good loot when I was doing test worlds. So like, boom, that might be another way for us to uh, get some really good summons. We are going to upgrade our staff here in a second. Now that I figured out that you could change that back to the old way. But let me get my hands on some emeralds first. Where the hell did that go? All right, we're back home. Let us go ahead and upgrade the wand here. Something we've been waiting to do. Boom, Tome of Arcana. And as you can see, well, if we can see, actually, no, we can't see it. But like, it would say like our level novice and then apprentice on the other side. And we were like right here, even after all I've used of the staff, which is crazy. But yeah, let's upgrade it. Boom. It should be apprentice now. Beautiful. I think after apprentice is advanced. So now finally I could check out some new spells because I'm not going to lie. I'm having fun with this playthrough, but like the lack of spells we get our hands on for summoning kind of like makes it a little bit hard to have fun. Cause like the only other thing I could do is like find dungeons and I really don't feel like searching and doing that all the time but yeah let's override everything on here we have all the other spells anyway so it doesn't matter if we override it let's see how this stuff works though we got the first one blinding flash okay we got the next one okay that one doesn't work on nothing this one okay also doesn't work this one agility oh okay i can see me using this one and then what about this one shield so do i have to like hold it down for a shield oh that's really cool i like that one all right well that's a little upsetting i didn't see any um summonings there but let's let's see what these things are if i can even see what they are a horde of zombies rises from the ground oh i thought it was my horde of zombies you know what that's fine i can't even attack them but it's fine because uh you know that's more meat for the dogs uh, you remember our dogs got blasted by the tribal chief and, hey that's still the goal of this episode is to kill that tribal chief Okay, they didn't drop anything because I didn't hit <laughs> Alright, what about this? You feel suddenly very hungry. Oh, there you go. Heal ally. Wow, hold up. Does this mean I can use this on dogs? I want to see then. Hopefully I don't combust my dogs on fire. <gasps> wow. I can heal my dogs now. This is amazing. I love that. That's a good spell. Alright, what else do we still have? We got this one left. Um, Come on, I need, I need this one to work. I need to see what these are. Give me something oh my god okay i really don't know what this one is then oh my god again with the zombies what's popping with this one oh my god here we go again 
Alright, what about this one? Snare. Okay, let's see it in action here. Just slows them, I'm assuming. You know, we might use some of these spells every now and then. Because I feel like, you know, maybe we should be allowed to use some spells. Nothing like crazy OP. Like, I want to do something that like... Well, I don't know. Considering if I conjure up a sword, that's summoning. <laughs> I summoned a sword. So, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I might use some of the spells every now and then. Because some of them really are cool. A firebomb appears right above you. Awesome. Is this... Do I use this on a mob? Candlelight. Oh, uh, we still got two more. What about this one? Frost barrier. Whoa. That's sick. Put up a little barrier to hide behind. And then we still have this one, which I think is the advanced one that we still don't know. I have no idea. But, uh, hey, what's up, boys? <laughs> oh my god, guys. I actually found rats. I just want you to look. Look at the map, okay? Where's my house? My house is somewhere all the way over here. Here we go. Here's our home. <laughs> Just look how much of the map I've explored. Look at this giant, like, temple I found, too. We'll, we'll talk about that later if I ever decide to explore that. But look how far I've come. Look at this. We are out here in a random village, and there's actually rats that spawn. Like, maybe a giant area of my original, like, spawn chunks were corrupt or something. Because there is actually rats out here. This is what I mean. This is how they're supposed to spawn. And they can spawn naturally around the world, too. But this is how they're supposed to spawn for me. Not on trash or anything. Not on garbage. I said it, so they're supposed to spawn like this. And none of them had rats this this is a beautiful moment here oh my god there's an upgrade in here beautiful i'm about to tame a million of these rats and i'm gonna be like gamer this how do you get back home with the rat easy you tame it you pick it up and then you teleport home and i have a home waypoint so that's what we're gonna do a bunch of times hopefully none of these rats have the plague i don't know the green ones are kind of scaring me but we can get our army started we may be actually able to do some damage for an episode i don't know though we'll see it seems like we need two things in this world to make it go round and that that is cheese and diamonds we get a lot of cheese we get a lot of diamonds we could upgrade our rat to crazy levels what the hell is elvis doing in here and it's pretty easy to find diamonds where the hell did you come from what the heck did when you guys get out of here but yeah this one right here this is gonna be our boy look at him he's nodding his head we're gonna upgrade this guy as high as we can not right now or not like super super high but he's gonna be our go-to here okay because i do have something very special i have a little special something that we finally got our hands on but first we also did get some other spells so i might as well test them too because you never know i think there's a good bit of summon spells for apprentice let's see fire sigil this one water material okay i kind of don't like that one what the heck uh that wasn't even the spell either grapple whoa whoa what the heck that's cool as hell and then we got this one which oh smoke bomb all right cool but yeah we got summon skeleton and obviously summon skeleton boom look at him i'm up i'm gonna punch the elephant no is it only hostile mobs it might be only hostile wait no no nah, i don't know <laughs> But we finally have some other power in our hands. So on top of that other power, let's upgrade this right here. Let's see what we could do. We have ones that are like mod compatible like this one. Rat upgrade dragon. And he uses the ice and fire dragon stuff. <laughs> that's insane that we can turn him into a dragon i'm pretty sure there was another one too oh my god look at this one ratinator fires dual lasers at targets i can see where uh they would get pretty damn strong but let me look at a bunch of these here and then let me see what we can what we can work with you know all right let us assemble rat upgrade warrior boom boom we are ready to see a rat do major damage ma'am would you like to put this on for me there we go look at the armor rating look at the health can i just like give a rat cheese do they just like eat through cheese if i give it to them to heal absolutely okay they're kind of stupid <laughs> now i wonder what else i could give it because that's gonna be our damage obviously what other amazing things can i give it black death scythe i don't know if like any of these really affect anything uh i could give it a helmet like a diamond helmet that should help out a little oh, okay i'm one diamond off i could give it an iron helmet <laughs> here you go there's an iron helmet can you not give it weapons or anything oh you kind of not really well i don't know <laughs> Maybe you can give it a sword. But let me see. Can I give you a sword? Does that count as a sword? <laughs> All right. Follow me. Where are you going? All right. Let's see the rat in action here. Where are you going? That's that's not following. Hey, where are you going? That's not following. Oh, it's beating the elephant's ass. 
Oh my god, did you see how fast it beat that elephant's ass? It only lost half a heart, and I'm assuming that half a heart was lost because it fell. Okay, I see you, rat. Let's let's bring you over here. Now, I'm pretty sure I might have to go into a creative world to test, but I'm pretty sure if a rat dies, it just drops everything. So, like, it's not the worst if it dies, but we'll see. Is there a way that I could, like, point and be like, attack it? No? Okay. Let's go like this, then. Yeah, look, the rat took damage from falling. Yeah, beat its ass. Beat its ass, rat. The rat's kind of taking that L there. Come on, you're supposed to beat its ass way faster than that. Barely lost any health either. All right, I'm going to go into creative world, and I'm going to go on the wiki, and I'm going to do some experiments here before I uh, bring our rat to the next level, okay? All right, we are here back at the... Okay, good start already. We're here back at the tribal village. We're gonna try and fight him again. I have my summoned skeletons ready. Let's do it. Let's run through the damn war zone. Let's get over here. I didn't bring my rat because, like I said earlier, I went in a creative world. I went in a creative world to test a rat against this guy. And I'll be honest, it wasn't the greatest uh, combat skills from the rat. Okay, I don't feel like that hit me. And the rat, the rat died. That's, that's pretty much all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, but this is going to be our goal here. We're going to summon in a skeleton. <laughs> we're going to summon in our skeletons, and we're going to hope they do work, okay? And then with the skeletons, we'll summon in some zombies, too. Just get a little, little army going here, and let's hope that we somehow win, okay? Let's hope that we somehow win. I don't know what's going on anywhere. I don't think the chief has taken damage yet. At this point, it's just all chaos. And I hope I come out on top on the chaos. Yeah, I'm gonna throw an egg at the chief. <laughs> and let's keep summoning our boys. Come on, boys. I, I need you guys to do work, all right? What in the fuck? Just do work for me, boys. That's all I ask. I think I've seen one skeleton shoot him. Please. Like, what are you looking at? Look, just, I blame you for the reason why we both got hit right there. Okay, he's missing some health at least. He's missing some health. It's better than no health. I don't know, like, what the hell they're aiming at. You guys gotta, like, do something. Come on. What the fuck? How do I even get hit? Come on, boys. Get in there. Just get in there. I don't care how you guys do it. Just do it. Somehow, some way. Just, just end up killing the fucking chief. You guys will figure it out, all right? <laughs> We got him almost dead. He's getting there. He's at like half health, quarter health. Not bad. Let's keep on changing it up though. Summoning skeletons, summoning zombies. Hopefully I don't run out of mana. If I run out of mana, I'm going to be a little bit upset. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Holy, what was that? I don't care. Keep it going. I don't care what it was. He cannot stop the power. How am I getting hit? Okay, so he's like, he's like entered like angry mode because he's like doubling his attack speed he's doing the big explosion still can't stop me and my boys from causing havoc though get in there everybody get in there we will win if i run out of mana i'll leave and come back with more so like you can't win this no matter what bro. you can stall it for as long as you want but you're not winning this fight i don't know why the skeletons have to get so close to attack them. i don't know what's up with that it's close though it's close though. One more shot. Oh, yes. We've done it, everybody. We have done it. It was hard work. It was very annoying, but we have done it. Some way, somehow, with the power of our skeletons. Holy hell. All right, let me pick up all the masks. The masks are very important to our next cause. Now, I'm pretty sure with the mask and everything, uh, I have been doing testing. There is a bug that I still have to figure out, but I will figure a way to show off the reason why I wanted to fight this boss. So the thing with this boss, you beat him, right? You then get this mask, the soul visage. Let me actually sleep here. You get the soul visage. It says it never breaks that's nice equip then right click with Baraco mask to spawn followers right click a follower to return to its mask so you put it on i look beautiful with it thank you you don't gotta say much than that and then you're supposed to be able to take the mask and right click but as you see when i right click it just swaps my helmet which is really annoying you see and now i tried to figure out for a while now what does that what swaps the mask and i figured out it was the cork mod the cork mod which is a great beautiful mod and you're able to disable the feature where you swap masks like this and that's exactly what i did i disabled that feature in the cork mod we should be good right no because now there's another mod that i have no idea that or just cork is broken and won't let me disable it and there's another mod that does the same exact feature where it swaps out mask and i can't figure out which one it is the thing is i've 
taken another mod pack, installed Quark, installed Mosey's mob, which added in the tribal chief, and I had pretty much most of the same mods, and it worked. And it doesn't make sense. Like, it really doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, for example, I think I'll show some footage of me hopping in to the other mod pack world just to show you that it works and how it's supposed to work. So let's go do that. All right, so here I am in the other mod pack that I made to just test this, to make sure that I wasn't going crazy. And here's the mods I have installed. I got JEI, Quark, Mouse Tweaks, uh, the library, which is for Mosey's mobs, and then I got the Quark add-on. And, you know, those are the things that I expect would affect anything so let's hop into a creative world here all right we're in a creative world here and you can tell that this is a fresh version of cork because it has the ugly green grass i don't know why cork does that it's really ugly but let's take the soul visage here and then let's take a bunch of masks boom we have all of that let's put on the mask let me hop out of creative and then are you ready i'm gonna right click look at that it spawns them in. So this is the whole goal of the episode was to get these guys to spawn in on my side. But uh, obviously, if it's not working and it keeps on swapping out the mask I have or the helmet I have, how am I supposed to like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I think you guys in the comments, you're going to have to help me go through like my mod pack list and help me figure out like what's going on. Like, is it Quark? Is it still Quark still like somehow messing with it? Even though I turned off all the options. Like I even copy and pasted the config from this Quark to my Quark or to my mod pack. And like, look, it's... I'm right clicking and I'm not changing the helmet. It's, I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, just to show that it does work, but not on my mod pack. Of course not the summoner mod pack where this would be perfect. I don't know. Help me out. Help me out in the comments. Go through the, the mod list that I have. Help me, help me figure it out because I really have no clue. But yeah, either way, bug or not, you know, I'm still happy that we actually completed something as a summoner. That's crazy. We beat our first boss there. That's, that's more than enough to call it an episode for me. But yeah, I guess in the meantime uh whether i stream it or not off camera or on stream i'm gonna try and start getting my hands on some diamonds i need to find a good way to get some diamonds uh maybe i set up some rats to do some harvesting or something uh i don't know what's up with the sugar cane in this world why do i grow so tall <laughs> but you know i might as well grab some while i'm here right but yeah i need to start getting some materials grinded just so we could upgrade more rats and stuff that's really the main thing is i'm trying to get all my summons and stuff upgraded now i believe there is two more summons we can get as an apprentice i think one of them is a spirit dog which is just like a regular dog but a ghost and then i think another thing we can get our hands on is is a snow golem which the snow golem might not be that good but the spirit dog that could be useful get summon in a reusable dog that i don't have to worry about dying that'd be very nice to have and also i guess we should keep our eye out for an advanced upgrade i believe that's the next upgrade i think we also might set up my house i think actually yeah that might be something that i work on is setting up my house and i might set it up over here because i said this place looked nice like this grass with the terracotta it looked really nice i like how it contrasted there's also a village out here i think i saw another place though that was just like this the grass and terracotta but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys keep on leaving likes on the episode because we're gonna keep going with this series this series has been fun other than like the constant grind for certain things this series has been fun because it's a different way to play minecraft but yeah i'll see y'all in the next episode have a good one Bye bye see you next time everyone Bye bye